All right, so for optics, there are a lot of different formulas that you can encounter. But the nice thing is that a lot of them relate to each other, and I think it's better if you can see all of the formulas coalesce into a group of master formulas like we have here. You may have learned about the lens maker's equation that is one over the focal distance equals one over the distance of the image plus one over the distance of the object. You may have learned various ways to use the radius of curvature to relate to the focal distance, but you can combine all of these into a very, very important formula that can allow you to mix and match any of the pieces that you're given and solve many optical questions involving power, focal distance, curvature, and objects and images. So the first part of this is that the power of a lens, which is measured in diopters, is equal to one over the focal distance of that lens. Now the focal distance of the lens is equal to half of the radius of curvature of that lens. Now what is a radius of curvature? It is the radius of the circle that you, were, you would make if you were to turn the entire curvature of this lens into a complete circle. That circle would have a given radius, and it's true for, let's just say, a concave lens or mirror as well. This could be turned into a circle, and that would have a radius itself. Half of that distance is where your focal point will be. And depending on the type of lens or mirror, your focal point may be on one side or the other, but realize that no matter what, it will be half of the radius of curvature. That is always going to be true in any lens, any mirror, and any optical system. Now, so the focal distance is equal to r over two, therefore one over f is equal to two over r. And this will then bring us to the lens maker's equation, which says that one over the focal distance of your lens is equal to the reciprocal of the distance of the image plus the reciprocal of the distance of the object. Another major formula that we can use is the magnification formula, which is uh, the ratio of the distance of the image over the distance of the object. So if something is given to you with a magnification of three, that means that the image will appear three times as far as the object. And uh, similarly, the height of the image and the height of the object, that is another component of magnification that you'll be considering. Now for any two lens system, to combine the focal distances, you, you add the reciprocals. And uh, this is a very important distinction. Whenever you're dealing with a two lens system, you have to treat the image produced by the first lens as the object of the second lens. And if you're wondering what the first or second lens is, the first lens is the one that is closest to the object. And for magnification, you simply multiply these. And so those are the core rules. And if you can just master these two formulas, you will be in a very good place. Notice that the distance of the image here has a negative sign attached. If you're using formal assignment of image and object positions, then it will be a negative. But more often than not, you'll have an intuitive understanding of where the image should appear. And from there, you can then figure out whether the magnification will be a positive or negative number.